I'm not gonna no, sleep. It's okay. It's okay. Two guard shifts. They rotate in threes. Okay, but how long are okay. the guard shifts? Every two hours. Okay, we're gonna run a distraction when they're changing guards. This house is built into a cliff. There's only one stairway on this side, and it's carved into the rocks, but it leads right to the water. Oh, Jason, no, it's too dangerous. I think we should just go along with the plan, Sarah. okay? I will marry Andrew. Allegra will set us free. I don't, I don't think, I can do I don't it. think I can... that's gonna happen. Well, I hope you enjoyed your time together, because now we have a real problem. Andrew insists on seeing his bride-to-be this instant. I'd hope to give you more time, but this is a delicate situation for all of us. We understand. Hmm. That's such a relief to me. My own daughter would only see things that way. We'd never be in this predicament. But since you've kindly agreed to take Alicia's place at the well, altar... Well, you didn't exactly give me a choice now, did you? Well, in any case, the sooner this wedding takes place, the better. Even poor, besotted Andrew is bound to figure out sooner or later that you're not my daughter. We want to make sure that you're already married when he does. And as soon as I have control of the money, then you can be on your way. Well, you know, it's the best we can do for now. I can assure you this meeting will be well chaperoned. I know it's awkward, but I think it will speed things along for all of us. Okay, well, let's get on with it. I've set aside some of Alicia's clothes, and Dante will take you to a comfortable place to change. My assistants will escort Jason back down to the cellar. Not for long, right? No, of course not, dear. Okay. I've already given you far more time than I ever planned. I know how much you love him. We'll be home soon. I'll be home. Thank you. I don't want to see him. Not at all. I'm glad I could make you feel better. She really is extraordinary. You hate all this, don't you? I can feel it coming off you in waves. I know your type. I married one once. Always the silent hero, always in charge. Well, your fate's in Sam's hands now. That must be difficult for a man like you. But you're just going to have to let her take care of you for once. Don't get in her way by trying to escape. Sam is a sensible girl. She sees the merit in my plan, even if you don't. But that's all right. You'll be rewarded for your patience. We all will. I know you're running a con. You're not going to use Sam to get your money. You'd be surprised what money can buy. Allie! For a moment. You thought I was your daughter? It doesn't matter what I think, as long as Andrew believes you're Alicia. He will. I so appreciate your help. My ears are burning. I take that back. My entire heart is ablaze. <laughs> I took the liberty of bringing in supper. I hope that's all right. Oh, perfect. It'll be supper for two. Not three. Oh, now, surely you're not suggesting that I leave my daughter unchaperoned so soon before her wedding. Why, it's simply not done. Well, is there some reason why I can't be alone with my fiancé? Well, now you and dear Alicia will have years together. Would you begrudge your poor mother one meal? Besides, we have a wedding to plan. Perhaps it'll be simpler for everyone if Ali and I skip the wedding completely. I mean, marriages are so much trouble. Much easier to live in sin. I'm sure that you don't mean to insult me or my daughter, it's, but I... It's okay, Mother. Darling, you would agree to anything right now. You're emotionally distraught. You're barely yourself. I am perfectly capable of having dinner with my fiancé alone. Thank you. Are you sure? Yes. He is your fiancé. 
You know best. Uh -huh. Remember, I have Jason. Bye, Mother. Your mother's a little paid up tonight. Well, yeah, you know how she can get. You seem nervous, too. It's just been a very long day. Hmm. Well, you need to forget about your mother and focus on what really matters. Me. What would you do if I told you? We've never met. Why would you suggest that we never met? Well, because sometimes I would like to start my whole life over. Go back to the beginning before we ever danced. Let's say the Fountain of Innocence, Paris. The night you first laid eyes on me. That was the most wonderful and torturous night of my life. Why on earth would you want to relive it? Well, because my life has not been the same since. No, one would hope not. How could it be? Thank God I came up with that capricious antisocialite story for your mother. I mean, I had to explain those paparazzi photos of you naked in the fountain. But we both know the truth, don't we? Yes. Yes, absolutely. That bastard wasted years on tossed you to the curb with nothing. Literally, you were devastated, terrified. It took days before you found the courage to sit foot outside my guest room. A kitten from the storm. But I was patient. Still am. You're looking at me as I'm talking about someone else. I was just thinking, maybe that girl you rescued that night forgot what a kind, 